Hello friends, today in this video I will quickly show you how to install Exchange Online PowerShell module using your Windows PowerShell IAC. Okay, what I'll do, I'll just navigate to my Windows PowerShell IAC and I will open it as run as administrator mode and I have already written the command there. I will show execute and show it to you what you need to write to install the Exchange Online PowerShell module. Okay, now let me go there able to see I have already opened your Windows PowerShell IAC with run as administrator mode and the, the command you need to execute is install hyphen module then the name of the module is exchange online management with the name parameter right so this is the whole command guys you have to execute right let let's just execute this so you can able to see it is asking me that it is a untrusted repository and I will say yes to all. It will just take a few seconds and it will it will install the Exchange Online module, right? You are able to see the package installation is completed now, right? And uh, there is also one more way to do that. If you want to specify any specific version, you can use this command install ipen module and the name name of the module is exchange online management and you have to specify this parameter the required version is this one if you want to install any specific version right so if i will execute this command uh, it will give me uh, that output or else it will say me that you know that version is already installed let let's see what it is telling okay it is allowing me just click on the s to all and uh, it will start installing this particular module and process and uh, there is one more way also for the silent installation you can use install hyphen module name then exchange online management the module name and then the force parameter okay if i will use this then it will silently install this particular module right if i'll uh, execute this command it will not give me that pop-up for the confirmation right that s to all we used to click right it will directly install that without that confirmation pop-up right so you can able to see it is installation i mean the installation is completed now right now to cross check what you can do you can uh, use this guest get hyphen install module name this one right so if i will execute that but before that suppose you are getting any tls error you can uh, use this command to fix it. I just want to show it in case you are getting this uh, TLS error, right? Net dot service point manager, then security protocol equal to net uh, security protocol type equal to TLS one to you have to set it, right? In case you are getting this TLS error, you can just execute this command first and then you can try executing this install module command. Okay, if you are not getting an error, that is fine. But if you are getting this TLS error, you can utilize that command. Okay, now let me just execute this command to check the installation is completed or not. You can able to see it is already con uh, completed with the latest version that is 3.7.0. Okay, and uh, you can able to see it here with this because we have used this uh, silent uh, option, right? The force command after this specific version. We have executed this command, right? So that means it took the uh, latest uh, version of this particular uh, Exchange Online Management Exchange Online uh, module and it installed successfully, right? So you can use this get hyphen install module command to verify whether installation is done successfully or not. So this is how you can install Exchange Online in your PowerShell IAC. So that's it for today and uh, we discussed here how to install Exchange Online or Cell module and these are the steps or these are the commands you need to you know follow for this. And thanks a lot again and if you like the video kindly subscribe to our channel to support us so that you'll get lots of free different helpful Azure PowerShell commands, Azure CLI commands, different helpful PowerShell commands and many more. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.